evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. We're tracking two developing stories right now. The first, two teenagers were in custody after someone reported a gun on campus at Rangeview High School in Aurora. And here's how it all went down. Around 1130 this morning, we learned that three schools, including Rangeview High School, were put on either lockout or lockdown because of a threat. Well, then, about a half hour later, police released these images saying this could be the suspect with a gun. And after about 20 minutes, the schools were given the all clear and the first suspect was taken into custody. Another teen was also detained sometime later. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live at Rangeview and spoke with some very worried parents, Megan. Very worried, Shannon and Ann, and understandably so. Um, by the time that I spoke with those parents, they had already called their kids. They already knew that their kids were safe because they had spoken with them. But still, dozens of them came down to the high school, and, and the businesses nearby waited for them because they needed that physical reassurance that really only a hug can provide at that point. Uh, this entire area full of police officers and parents and concerned community members just waiting for some answers. And tonight, they're taking a, a sigh of relief and, and just very thankful that this didn't turn tragic. I'm scared to death. It's a fear that's all too common. It just felt so real, so it, um, a lot of emotions. A drill that happens all too often. Our coach told us to go in the corner. Like Only this one wasn't a drill. I called her, like, it's what real? And then she's telling me that she's hiding under a desk because it's a, they were on immediate lockdown. A simple Snapchat picture put Rangeview High School and two others on lockdown today as Aurora police and parents descended on the area. I just dropped everything and came here. An entire community, the businesses, even traffic stopped as officers searched for that suspect. I've been in tears since I found out. And eventually detained two teenagers for questioning. This time it was a happy ending, but the emotions were still real. I got a text from my daughter saying, um, Mommy, I love you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. I don't know if this is real, but I just needed to say bye because I couldn't let myself die and not be able to tell my mom how much I appreciate her. Tamara Blanton knows the toll a school shooting can take because it's happened to her family before. Isaiah Schultz is my cousin. He was murdered in Columbine. So. Now a mother herself, there's a renewed sense of fear. You send your kids to school thinking they're going to be safe, but it's not, it's not the way it goes. As this community takes a deep breath and hopes this never happens again. Just to know that my baby was okay was a lot of relief. And outside right now, if you drive by Rangeview High School or the businesses that were affected by this, I mean, you'd never know that something had happened. Everything returned uh, back to normal again. Now, we're still waiting for an update from Aurora Police about those two teenagers that were detained and that are being questioned. We haven't gotten any answers as to where they were found, but Police Chief Nick Metz did tweet out that the gun was found with a suspect. We just don't know where at this point, so stick with Denver 7 on air and online, and we'll bring you any updates that we find out. I'm live in Aurora. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. Megan.